Uh, no, that's not the mage. <laughs> Holy hell. Are you being serial? You're stubborn, Dwan. Geralt, I, I shall help you. Step back. Stop telling me what to do. I actually... Whoa. Alright, let's see what he's got. Whoa, that was good. I'm gonna try to get him behind him, I think. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Dragon's Dream, okay. That seems to work all right. Whoa, where did he go? Stay calm. Focus. Oh, are you kidding more of these things? Oh, and he's regenerating all his health in that bubble. And we can't hit the bubble. That's interesting. This is bad news. Kira, do your thing. Come on. We're close. Oh, shit. Okay, now. Another grip. Oh, if we're too close to it, we take damage too. Okay, we have to take those things down a bit faster, I think. In and out. We can do this. Shit. Oh, that was bad. the distractions. Let's go. I wonder if I can stun him. 
I'm about to find out. I kind of want him to get out of that wall, though. Nice. It's kind of a tricky position he's in, though. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Get our swallow ready. Nice stun. Finish him. Good job, Kira. Are you well and whole? Unnecessarily. Let's look around. If I've my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. Okay, wild hunt warrior sword. What? And greeny and cuirass. Oh, it's not even as good as what we have. Thirty-four percent critical hit damage bonus, though, is nice. It really is. Uh, our silver sword's a bit damaged up. So we could repair that, thankfully. We could do 40%. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's scour the area. What the frick is this? What is that? S I don't know what that means. We've got another projection here. All right, let's watch this message. After the White Frost, what was that? Shira, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry So he's referring body. to her by the name of her sword. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Which is... and he's gone. Great. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything, and if they had more time they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. But what? Okay, yeah, so they were together fine, but why would they split up? Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the wild hunt was on the elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. Okay, fair enough. And these witches he warned her about? Do you know anything about the that? witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Bog Swamp, whatever. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... Kira... Do you know these witches? You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Okay. Mm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Bellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. 
One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Interesting. So what? Huh. Is there any reason you didn't mention them earlier? Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant them. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I mean, I get that, and I can also I see because we said now, witch. Of now, and after I safely hmm. led you through the cave, it's tough. I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Can you blame mm -hmm. me? Can't imagine <laughs> where that comes from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do I find these witches of Crookback Bog? How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Clare Morgan. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. The Ladies of the Wood. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Very interesting. Why did you um, even come? Okay, we picked up a couple of things here. So look for information about Siri using your senses. Before we leave the room, I just want to scour it. Greater Glyph of Axie, beautiful. That's the second one. If we... I mean, this is... We, our Axie's already super strong, right? If we look here at our Axie sign... 5.85 duration. Now, if we throw this on... 6.35, awesome. That's like, that's significant. Uh-huh, what do we have here? Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. The bear legend, okay, so that's the second book. Applied magic, yet another. The Elder Blood. That'll be a good one. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. And what did it do exactly? You're not gonna tell me. Hmm. Mysterious Mage Herbalist. Lunar Shards, White Wolf Hide, Silk, Hunter's Boots, Draken... Draconid oil? Is that like for... I'm imagining vampires... And... That type of thing? Here's another swallow sign. Okay, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I bought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, when you notice a shimmer in the air, walk toward it when you're close, press E to dispel the illusion. Whoa. Alright. Simple, isn't it? Mm hmm Let's see where the passage leads.
Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. What? The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? <laughs> um, I mean, look, okay, you've helped me quite a bit. You've put up the domes of protection. You fought with me. Like, I see no reason why I shouldn't help you. But what is this lamp for exactly? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. Okay, well, that's... Why are you going... To left, you said the exit, right? Level six, that means we've got a new slot available. I'm just curious to see. You were supposed to help me! Geralt! Yeah. Someone placed an illusion here. Whoa! Okay, that's an exit. Very cool. So we can get out that way as well, I guess. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Love riddles. Let's keep doing them. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. What? Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. Okay, can you just repeat it one more time? Mind repeating the riddle? Four guardians, four flames, Standing proud in a line, the first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to write this down as fast as possible. I've got four guardians, four flames, standing in a line. The first to light did not march on the end. I missed the second one. The third standing next to a, the beast, and the fourth march not beside the first. It's going to have something to do with putting something in a certain order. I just want to repeat it one more time so we can get all of it. Mind repeating the riddle? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. Dare not march on the, the end, second, so it has to be on the by inside. The first played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen who slept beneath flickering stars. All right, let's 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 give it a shot. All right, let's see if we can solve this. I don't even know. Light the browsers in the correct order. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is definitely the one with the beast, right? So that's the third. The first to light was not on the ends. So, if we're to assume this is like a line, one, two, three, four, or the other way, one, two, three, four. Oh, this one has a beast as well. Okay. 
Um, the second was by the first. And the first was not on the end. So the first has to be one of these two in the middle. But this one is playing music, right? And... Yeah, interesting. Let's give it a shot here. The second was by the first. Could be this one. The third could be the other beast. Sure. And the fourth was not beside the first. Okay, so it can't be this one then. There was a thing about the music. Um, and I didn't clue in on that one very well. But if I start with this one, maybe. Oh, shit. We screw up. This is bad. Whoa. Um, seems we did something wrong. Oh, you think? What was that inscription again? Four guardians. Okay, let's hear it again. Standing proud in a line. First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. It's got to be one the of those inner ones. Beside the first, played a woeful lament. Then it has to be the one on the left. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept with flickering stars. Okay. So first to light was not in the end. I still want to say this one. But does the other... So this one's with the beast, but does the other beast have like a... Yes, it does. It has an instrument as well. Okay. So... Uh, the first one should be here. Lit up like a charm. The second one played. Wait. Something just happened. In a good way? Behind that wall, a movement. Okay, that's a good sign. The third, next to the beast. And the last one also played. Hello! That's sick, I love that. That's amazing. Let's just be ready for anything here. Looks like some open sanctuary. And a swallow symbol. What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm, sign of the go. She was buried. I guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. No way. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kraken and Lord. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. Oh, that's an interesting theory. This what you're looking for? What's it supposed to do? Hmm. I to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Okay, Sage's notes. Pretty crucial. We've got a couple of things to read, definitely. Cavalry boots. We already did find the one exit, but we can go through here as well. Nice. We haven't seen one of these for a while. It's gotta be. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I know exactly what that is. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get ready to throw down here. Elementa oil. got a hidden treasure. Awesome. Okay, 
Okay, that actually really works great. Come on. Let him in. There we go. Let him come. This area is, I'm not gonna lie, this is awesome. This is so cool. Now, what were you protecting? Or is it outside this thing that we've stumbled possibly upon? Or, even better, what do we have behind the door? Okay. No wish queer, Florence timber. Okay, that was what it was. Dimeridium. Oh, dimeridium bomb. Awesome. Definitely going to check into that. Pure silver. And before, before we forget here, let's see if we can make it right away. We'll get these out of the way. Oh, and then we can make a grater. Oh, I see. Okay, let's do it. Diamond Iridium Bomb, I definitely want to make. We've picked up a few of these Optimum Matter, so that's great. Releases a crowd of Diamond Iridium Slivers that block magic and monsters' magic abilities. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We're missing a little bit of a few ingredients here for these things. Immediately store a portion of vitality, that would be nice. You know what? I think, unless we can blast this down, which I don't think we can. I think we head back through that other exit now. Place of power. Should draw from it. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's replenish. Having that massively powered Erden sign is like... It slowed that thing right down. We're going. Kira? Whew. 
<laughs> look how bright it feels. Uh, look how bright it looks and feels. Crazy. Oh yeah, look, we have friends already. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Yeah, I can do that. The chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. <laughs> so, visit me sometime? Of course you do. I'd love to visit. I'll stop by, you can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See yeah, we care. definitely have something going on between us. I'm interested. Not for anything long term, but you know. Witcher needs. Holy, that was crazy. All right, so. Here's, here's what I would like to do. Uh, an invitation from Kira. Look, we picked up a lot of things here. If you're not into reading, totally fine. Now would be a good time to, uh, to stop watching if that's what you want to do. But, I just want to review all the stuff that we've just picked up. Like, that was a massive area. And, uh, I think... I think there's a lot to go through. So let's go through our usable items here. Nothing major in this area. We have those dimeridium bombs, which is cool. Turns out the oils is like, they're unlimited, which just makes me super happy. And it's going to be really encouraging to, uh, to always make sure that we're using them. Uh, alchemy and crafting, this stuff is pretty much just, you know, we have tons of it because we have to uh, utilize it at some point. And we have quest items. So we've got the Eye of the Nehaleni. Which is cool because that uh, dispels illusions. Uh, let's see what else here. The Ladies of the Wood. Here's what we want to read. So this is about the witches of Crookback Bog. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the Ladies of the Wood watch over Velen. Or Velen. In foul times when flag and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help, and if they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs help from the ladies. Okay. Find a child young and innocent and take it to Crookback Bog. Seek out the ladies shrine, tis where the trail of treats begins. <laughs> Typical gingerbread house story set the child off on the trail and it shall follow the sweet track and find the good ladies The child will never want for anything again, but for the ladies are kind and generous Stand before their shrine pronounce your supplication and the good ladies will hear for they see and hear all that takes place in their de de Demez domain. I'm not sure what that is if you made the offering as it must be done your plea shall be heard Creepy because it's it like it sounds like we're sacrificing a young child here not really my forte uh but maybe there's some way around the child young and innocent thing i don't know but very interesting nevertheless so find the crones of crookback bog use your witcher senses to find the shrine that starts the trail of treats maybe we don't need to actually have the child maybe we can just look for them and try and deal with it that way i'm curious to see where it is look at all these cool things that we discovered underneath the entrance to the cave uh so it's way over here ladies of the wood is like we're right on track for that i'm really happy about that now we did pick up a couple of other books though and if i'm not mistaken let's see Interrogation report, no. Yellow diary, no. This is, again, another reason why I would like to be able to sort these. Now, some people are going to suggest... Okay, it looks like we have them here at the end. Some people are going to suggest we'll just get rid of them. Uh, but I'm keeping all of the books that we find. I want to have, like, this library. I kind of have, like, a bit of a collector problem. <laughs> like, we found Fistech earlier, I believe. I think we have Fistech somewhere in our pile of stuff here. I'm keeping all my Fistech. Okay? I had a problem in The Witcher 1. I'm not calling it a problem because I'm addressing it, but uh, I'm keeping all of the fist tech that we find, all of the books. I think those are two habits that I could get behind. 
Um, now, Marauder's Notes, is that... Yes, we read this one. So it's these three we have to read. All right, the Bear Legend. So what is this? A bestiary entry. Beautiful. The Berserkers do not constitute a separate clan in terms of blood or lineage. They are instead a family forged by warriors who have heard the call of the bear and answered it by abandoning their loved ones and joining the community of mountain dwellers. Not every man who seeks to join it is accepted into the Brotherhood, and candidates must first pass difficult trials which usually end in their death. The last trial is the hardest. It is called the Trial of the Bear's Triumph. But few outside the Brotherhood have ever witnessed it, and none know what those who undergo it must endure. Quite curiously, the inhabitants of Skellige themselves know very little about the Berserkers, or Vildkarls as they call them. They do not like to talk about these man-bears, not with outsiders, and not even amongst themselves. So, let's check the bestiary. Beast? No. Hounds of the Wild Hunt. These are the things that were coming out of the, um... Out of the portals. So, born, or some experts believe, of magic ice crystal, the Hound of the Wild Hunt race uh, alongside their spectral masters. Like ravenous feral dogs, they are capable only of mindlessly attacking whatever crosses their paths. We were just using Igni because it was a good way to fan out against a whole bunch of them. But they are Elementa, so that is good to know for the future if we ever run into these again. And then, as well, these Dimeridium Bombs because magic, right? So, anything Elementa, Dimeridium Bombs and um, obviously Elementa Oil, and then these guys also do not like Axie, which makes sense. Okay, the Cursed Ones, so Botchlings? I'm guessing it's Berserkers that we read about. Crazy. Uh, yeah, Devil's Puffball, Cursed Oil, Quen Signs, and Igni. Now finish your soup or a Berserker will come and swallow you whole. Skellige mother scolding a child. Skellige legends speak of men known as berserkers who transform into bears when overwhelmed by battle rage. In doing so, they lose all self-awareness and are driven by a bloodlust which they must satiate in order to return to human form. Few believe these blood-curdling tales, however, not even in Skellige, where the inhabitants usually treat even the least probable legends with the utmost gravity. This indicates either that berserkers are in, uh, are in fact mere figments of mead sodden imaginations or else that they have learned to hide their abilities from the rest of the islanders the scald's ballads indicate a berserker transformed in the heat of battle cannot be distinguished from a trueborn bear only minute atomical details such as the shape of their tongues and teeth reveal their secret descriptions of their fighting prowess paint them as invulnerable to pain and able to heal any wound received almost at once if these men turn bears truly do exist one can suppose that like werewolves and lycanthropes they are particularly vulnerable to oils that harm cursed creatures uh, but we, if we are to give credence to ancient songs about these creatures' deeds, about the mass murders and massacres they have committed, we can only hope that no Witcher will have to test this hypothesis. Guaranteed, we're going to find a Berserker. For sure. And a Botchling. What the shit is this? Whoa, where did this come from? I'm not sure what gave us this entry, but let's figure it out. Uh, saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert, Witcher of the Wolf School. So, botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher has ever had the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. Their uniformed, unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. A botchling will emerge from its lair at night to lurk by the bedside of an expectant mother, draining her strength and that of the unborn progeny as she sleeps. A woman thus beleaguered first suffers from troubling dreams, then fever, delirium, and general weakening of the flesh. After a few such nights, she is enfeebled and unable to defend herself. It is then the botchling attacks directly, sinking its long, sharp fangs into her body and drinking of her blood until mother and fetus perish together. A botchling stands around a foot and a half in height, but when threatened and if gorged with blood, it can change form. At such times, it grows into a deformed man, hunched over and striding ape-like on its forearms, stronger and fiercer after this alteration. It hurls itself into direct physical combat, gnashing at its opponent or attacking him with sharp claws. A botchling's curse can be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin, a guardian spirit of the heart 
hearth which watches over the family it never knew and the house it could never call home. How the hell do we do that? Okay. Baby fetuses. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. So, a uh, couple of other things to go through. We've got the introduction to applied magic. Magic is a science of harnessing, subduing, and making use of the power of the elements. It is also an incarnation of chaos, which is why no one without proper magic training should ever dabble in any of its domains. Expert mages make of magic an art, but the road to virtuosity leads through years of practice, study, and hard work, and requires a considerable amount of required inborn talent. Magic was implanted in our world through the conjunction of the spheres, which we know about, and was discovered to be a living, changeable, and controllable being shortly thereafter. The name of the first mage, the one who first discovered this talent within himself and grappled with, grappled with its power, is unknown. We do know, however, that in a relatively short period of time after the discovery of magic groups, began to form in which talented beings could work together on developing their abilities. This period is usually considered the beginning of, a ma of magic as a science, and these groups the prototypes of magic schools. The fundamental planes from which one might draw magic are earth, water, air, and fire. In the tomb which you currently hold, each of these will have a separate chapter dedicated to it, ordering, uh, ordered according to the level of difficulty and danger associated with the element discussed. Cool. I wonder if we would be able to find those in more detail. It says in the tomb you currently hold, which I'm assuming is replying to this book, and then it can kind of continues on. So it might just go on to explain that. We might not get to read about it, but very cool nonetheless. The Elder Blood. Okay, so let's clear a few things up here. What exactly is the Elder Blood? According to some, it's a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation. Those in whose veins the infamous Hen Ikar flows are said to carry death and destruction within them to sow hatred and disdain in the hearts of men it was from this contaminated blood that ithlin prophesied an avenger would be born a destroyer of nations and worlds could be referring to siri others claim that elder blood is an extremely rare inherited talent granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to elven sages and we still don't know if the the mage the elven mage in the mask that gave us all this information about Siri and led us through that cave is a sage or not. I'm interested to see if we run into him. Sadly, few bearers of this gift have been able to control it in full. This merely partial mastery uh, inevitably leads to sudden outbursts of the power that take the form of unpredictable, uncontrollable, and thus extremely dangerous explosions. Behind the dark legends about the curse of the Elder Blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. For obvious reasons, the bearers of the Elder Blood were always subjects of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of Ithlin's prophecy on an Avenger being born who could destroy worlds and who could thus use and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hoped to harness the magic of Hen Ikar to broaden their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, all of these plans were for naught. The Elder Bloodline broke off with the disappearance of the heiress to the Nilfgaardian crown, Cirilla Fiona Allen Rhiannon. Yes, okay, cool. I think that is pretty much it. I don't know that we have anything outstanding. Just want to go through, double check anything here. Uh, so the Novograd Longsword. We could use this. We definitely could use this. It's slightly more damage, okay? But I think the 5% bonus to uh, experience from humans and non-humans is great. I also like the giant chance to poison. We see that coming into effect very frequently. And uh, I'd like to keep that experience going. Until we find a sword that's significantly better, I don't think we should necessarily change it. No, okay, well, this one is, I would say, you could argue this one is significantly better. 36 armor piercing? Ugh! That's a tough call. <laughs> kind of eat my words a little bit. I don't know that... Uh, I don't know. I just think the earlier that you use the, the, the um, extra experience, the better, right? Like... 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Non-humans being elves and dwarves, that kind of thing, is pretty great. I'm um, just seeing if there's anything else. We've picked up so much stuff. As you can see, we're very near um, our, our limit. It doesn't appear that anything else, though, is as necessary. 
So, yeah, we're good to go there. I think we've covered everything that we picked up, and uh, we're ready to, uh, to move on. Are we close? Are we close to, like, a town? Not quite. Religious site where the old gods are worshipped. These kind of have cool little, like, um, explanations in the bottom left. So, Midcops, the typical farming settlement, which was the worst of the fighting, is left untouched, but which now famine now grips all the same. One of the larger villages in the region. So, I'm thinking, actually, that it makes sense. Right away, we should start heading back towards Midcops so that we can sell all of our gear. On the way, we would obviously stop at this location. Um, and then from there, we could kind of plan out our next phase of, uh, of quests. And, like, oh my god, Velen is massive. Really, really massive. So, uh, I'm, I, this is, this is just, pfft. It's overwhelming, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's laid out so well that we're not gonna feel overwhelmed. But, uh, yeah, anyways, enough rambling for me. I want to say, you guys, thank you very, very, very much for, uh, all of the support. Uh, I really, I really do appreciate it, and, uh, I know some of you guys are, like, die-hard Witcher fans, and uh, me too, like, I just, I'm in, I'm just in love with, um, with the game, and I can't, I can't even express, like, how much I, I love this world, and I'm almost worried, I'm almost worried that nothing is ever going to be able to live up to this in the future. That's, that's a pretty big concern of mine. You know what, before we go, let's do one more thing. Let's read the updates on, uh, I know we got an update on, on Siri, and then we have Aridin, which was the thing we fought, I think, and we have an update on Kira. Uh, we also have the Mysterious Elf. We have Triss, which we never read from before. So let's go through these, and, uh, if you're still here, cool. So, Let's see, I could tell you that she's Geralt's adopted daughter, we knew that. Following Age of Witcher tradition, Geralt took Siri to Kaur Morhen, I think we've read this. One more secret, uh, the Emperor's daughter. Yennefer made it clear why the Wild Hunt wanted Siri. Aridin wanted the power latent in her elder blood. Okay, great. She also let Geralt know that Siri had been seen in War Ravage Velen, as well as in Novigrad, the largest city in the world. It seemed that during Siri's time in Velen, she got into a quarrel with some sort of witch or witches in the swamps. And that's what kind of threw us off, right? Because we heard, yeah, she quarreled with a witch, so we had assumed it had to be one. No, she's quarreled with those witches in the bog. And it wasn't, in fact, the village witch, quote-unquote, um, Kira. So, kind of interesting. Eridin. So this is not the one that we fought. Uh, is it? No, I don't think... No. This is the name of the King of the Wild Hunt, the identity of the Lord of Nightmares, the being behind the frightful mask this long remained unknown. Over time, however, scraps of information gradually coalesced into a full likeness of our foe. It did nothing to distract from the terror uh, he inspired. The Wild Hunt was in truth an elite cavalry brigade, brigade from the world of the NL, the Elder Folk, who was commanded by their ambitious and ruthless king, Aridin Break Glass. He would travel via secret paths through the cold emptiness between his world and ours, uh, between his world from ours to capture victims and take them back to his homeland as slaves. His current object, the current object of his hunt was Cyrilla, whose power he wanted to harness for his own uses. The only obstacle in his path, us. Kira. Uh, we read about this earlier about how he met her. Geralt later learned the reason for this, and Kira's fate gave him ample fodder for contemplating the cruel whimsies of the Wheel of Fortune. Once the esteemed advisor to now late King Foltes, she had been chased out of Temeria. Um, actually, I think we've read all of this. Not difficult to tell that she was despised every minute of this. Yeah, we've read this about Kira. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Mysterious Elf. It turned out that not only Geralt was looking for Cirilla, also on her trail, a mysterious elven mage. Like the Witcher, he had gone to Kira Metz to inquire about Ciri's whereabouts. During this conversation, he also revealed that he kept a hideout in the ruins near the village of Midcops, which we've now explored. Geralt decided to follow up on this lead, though he was not able to establish the mysterious mage's identity. He did learn that he had been traveling with Cirilla sometime before, and the Wild Hunt was after him as well. And Triss. I always considered it a point of particular pride to count Triss Marigold of Maribor among my closest and dearest friends. This exceptionally talented sorceress was a shining star of her profession, the former mage advisor to King Foltest, and a famous hero of the Battle of Sodden, known as the 14th of the Hill. Yet in no way did she dis uh, resemble her often unbearably haughty <laughs> sisters in magic. Her deft mind, warm smile, and considerable personal charm had always won over even the hardest of hearts. Though my personal relations with Triss never ventured 
ventured beyond the fraternal, Geralt of Rivia at one point found her allure irresistible. From then on, the two shared feelings that ran far deeper in than a superficial and fleeting fancy, Yennefer told Geralt that Triss had recently taken up residence in the free city of Novigrad. Okay, so I don't expect to run into her anytime soon. Um, I can't remember if we read this or not. I feel like maybe I've glanced over it, but regardless. Geralt first met Kira Metz when she literally dropped on top of him out of nowhere. During the infamous coup on the Thanet Island, Kira was dev uh, defenestrated and nearly landed right on the Witcher's head. Now, somebody pointed out that uh, we... Learn about Kira in the Time of Contempt book, which I'm actually reading right now, and I just haven't gotten to that part, so I'm really interested in getting there now. Uh, the next time Geralt saw her in the swamps of Valen was shocking in a different way. The luxury-loving sorceress was the last person he expected to see in such a grim and barren place. Geralt later learned the reason for this, and Kira's fate gave him ample fodder for contemplating the cruel whimsies of the Wheel of Fortune. Once the esteemed advisor to the now late King Foltest, she had been chased out of Samaria when she lost that ruler's trust. Later, she joined the Lodge of Sorceresses, which earned her the hatred of Redania's king and Nilfgaard's emperor alike. Because of this, she had gone deep undercover, posing as a cunning woman, a village witch of sorts, deep in the Velen boondocks. It was not at all difficult to tell that she despised every minute of this. Cool. All right, we are up to date. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you very soon, and uh, I really appreciate the support. Thanks, guys. Take care. Goodbye.